Wow, this is the 12th episode. Time flies and you are doing amazingly well. Even if you have only taken on even half of the ideas so far, well done. This week, we are talking about options when you go out. Sometimes, even in 2021, you get invited to a restaurant or a pub or that only has like one vegan option, like a salad. So today, we're going to talk about a couple of tips you can use to get an amazing meal that is 100% plant-based and delicious. So stick around. This is Plant Your Life, the channel dedicated to helping you eat more plants without diverging from your normal diet, helping you to reach your goals of improving your health, reducing your eco footprint, or eating with a clear conscience, or all three, because you will. Now, before we get started, how did you go with the takeout? There are some amazing options around you, I bet. If you looked around, you would have found them. From the big guys to the specialist little guys that are doing amazing things with tofu, soy, and wheat gluten to make incredible meals with no harm to you or to your home, the planet, or to any animals specifically killed for your taste buds. The hardest part about going plant-based is eating out with friends. It really is. Whenever you go out, you have to do some research as unfortunately the majority of people and therefore the majority of menu items are based around some chunk of dead animal. So enter some handy tips. Tip number one. First off, Try to go somewhere with a few items on the menu. Support them. Check out a billion veg or search for vegan or plant-based on like Google Maps or Yelp. And you'll get the best restaurants. Go there first. Other restaurants will soon follow when they start to lose your business and your friends will start following you too. It really is that easy to make a change with your wallet. Tip number two, if you have to go somewhere, is order off menu. Often chefs are creative people just looking for an excuse to do something different, express their creativity and make something great. So suggest this to your wait staff in the most gracious tone you can muster. Could you tell the chef that I eat anything, but I'm allergic to meat, fish and dairy? Be creative, I'll give it a whirl. You could even throw in gluten if you don't want to end up with some boring pasta and you will get something truly delicious eight out of 10 times. Not always. Tip number three, mix and match. Now, some restaurants won't let you do this. So it might be a case of being that one at the table and asking lots of questions and being intolerant to stuff. This makes the wait staff really take notice and make sure you get fed a bit safely. So, you know, you can try asking for the greens from this dish and the pasta from that dish or the sauce from that dish, etc., and sort of make your own meal up if, if they let you. It's not a bad tip, but it's last for a reason. And it's a bit of work, but it's worth it for your taste buds. Again, this week, I'm going to sort of skip over the whole nutritional info thing because there's nothing specific here. And I know that by now, you know, you know that eating plant-based is just healthier. After the burger episode, and you found that even a plant-based burger is better for you than an animal-based one, surely now you know everything is. This week, if you are keeping up with the challenge, you are gonna hit 20, even 21 meals a week that are completely plant-based. And that is up to 100% of your meals. You have come so far in just 12 weeks. You have completely gone vegan or near enough. Maybe reducitarian, aiming to only eat highly ethical meat on the odd occasion instead of basing your life around it. So really, that is the end of the series. So thanks so much for watching and coming on this journey with me to reduce your meat, fish and dairy consumption. For now, I'll be sharing shorter little sort of throwbacks to the series to encourage you and others to relook at the series until series two comes along. If it has, you will find the link up here or in the description below. How far did you come? What did you commit to? Tell me in the comments below. Share your wins, your losses, things you just can't give up. Give it a try, put it in the comments and we can have a chat about it. 
And if you know someone that wants to increase their plant intake, then share this video with them or the channel introduction or share plantyourlife.fun so they can start this series from the beginning. For now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Have a great day.